China is running out of garbage. Seriously, sounds unbelievable, right? But it's true. Some Chinese cities are actually digging up old landfills. Others are buying trash from neighboring regions. Why? Because there's not enough garbage to go around. Let's rewind. Before 2010, China's booming population was generating mountains of waste. Garbage piled up around two thirds of its cities, creating major problems, from air pollution to contaminated groundwater. Urban waste was a full-blown crisis. That's when Du Xiangwan, a leading academician at the Chinese Academy of Engineering, proposed a radical solution, turn garbage into electricity. The idea, send city waste to power plants equipped with high-efficiency incinerators. These facilities burn trash cleanly, without emitting harmful gases. The leftover ash, it gets repurposed into cement for building roads. The results were dramatic. China went all in on this technology. Today, the country has more than 1,100 waste to energy plants. Each ton of garbage generates 200 to 500 kilowatt hours of electricity, earning between 15 and $40 per ton. Now here's the twist. China is burning more trash than it produces. With 800,000 tons incinerated daily, there's not enough fresh garbage to meet demand. Some plants have even started buying waste from other cities at around $7 per ton. Yes, trash has become a commodity. China isn't keeping this to itself. They're now exporting their waste to energy tech to over 40 countries around the world. So the big question is, which country needs this technology the most right now?